It's expected that 60% of job openings in the next two years are going to require a college degree. That's why it's important that today's teenagers are well prepared for higher education. The Detroit-based Ingenuity College Preparatory Institute was founded to motivate and help guide middle and high school students through the maze of enrolling and succeeding in college and in their chosen careers. The program uses mentors, workshops, seminars, academic coaching, and other activities to get young people to cultivate their genius within. Joining me now is the founder of Ingenuity, Candace Cox Wimberly. Welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you, Stephen. I love that phrase, the, the inner genius, right, of, of children. It's one of the things that I think if you really accept the idea that all kids have an inner genius, then you start thinking about, well, okay, how do we help them unleash that? What are the things that we're not doing that, that allow people to sort of tap into that. And that's, that's where this program comes in. Yes, absolutely. And that is the whole purpose of it all. You know, my personal story, I've been blessed and fortunate with a phenomenal mother who motivated me, who encouraged me. I came from a single parent household. Mm -hmm. So that motivation and courage helped me get to where I am today. But there are so many young people who may not have that directly in their household, yeah. you know. Yeah. And mainly letting young people know that we're all created with a purpose. That's the whole reason why we're all you here on this find earth. That purpose, right? Finding it and having <laughs> someone coach you and encourage you to know you have a genius within. Yeah. You have a purpose to be fulfilled and the world is waiting for it. Right. We can all be really great at something. It's about identifying that and then yes. doing the right things to, to put yourself in a in a position to yes. get there. Uh, so, so talk about the, the, the program, how it works. How do you identify the kids uh, okay. who you're reaching out to? Excellent question. So in 2012, we began Ingenuity, working with uh, high school students and preparing them for college. And at that time, we were helping students not only transition and go into college, we were also getting exposed to internships and their chosen career interests. And then fast forwarding up to this year, we've actually began um, a mentorship program specifically for young ladies, uh -huh. entitled Young Ladies Find Their Genius Within. And primarily our, you know, promotion is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, we started our program at Greater Grace Temple. Okay. And, yeah. you know, that's my church home, but we have programs there with young people that are, you know, in the community that need that support system for the student as well as the parent. Yeah. You know, and what I hate to hear, but it's the truth that everybody says, everybody's not going to go to college, you know, <laughs> well, and facing that reality. Okay, that's yeah. true because we have some of the most successful people in our world today, you know, they're and, entrepreneurs, they, go college, they didn't go to college. So it's all about them tapping into their inner genius and knowing what was your divine creation? Right. What are you here for? Well, you what's know? the thing that, uh, that we can get you doing that really fulfills you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's one of the, the, the tougher things to, to, to get going with. Mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. It's interesting uh, you, you focus on on girls and, and, and that is a different issue than boys. I mean I think you have issues on both sides of mm -hmm. that gender mm -hmm. sort of divide but with women, young women, I mean you're still sort of making up for I think some of the cultural biases against female success. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know we have a lot of different dynamics to have to deal with, you know, as we can kind of look at the election today. <laughs> right, right. And um, I would like to say, one, I can identify personally with young ladies. Yeah. And I can really be that much more impactful to them. To share, okay, what's been successful in my life and what is some things that I probably would do differently to help them yeah. and cultivate them and encouraging healthy self-esteem and healthy confidence, mm -hmm. which is why our motto is, I am a genius. <laughs> we say it confidently, confidently, not in a boastful way, but in a confident way of saying, you know, I am a genius. Now, what do I need to do to believe that <laughs> and to fulfill that? Yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, young men, we work with them, mm -hmm. but the mentorship program, I wanted to really put my hands on the young ladies and put some, you know, my arms around them and love them and say, you can be all that you've created right. to be. Well, and one of the things also is teaching people how to fail, how to deal with failure, yes. how to sort of understand that uh, that failure is not final. It's it's no. a step. It's a step in, in the process, and uh, everybody goes through that on their way to actual success. Yes, yeah. and a lot of times when you aren't given that speech of what you shared, 
it can hurt a lot more. Sure. You know, we've all had failures that helped us become stronger. But when you are caught off guard by it, yeah. you may some people may want to give up, but you have to get back up, try again, keep going, and keep trying, yeah. and keep doing yeah. what you're created to do. Uh, I'm curious, uh, what you see is the difference between uh, what you see with young people now in the city of Detroit and what uh, what you experienced as a young person. The city's really different yeah. now than it was. Kids are really different yes. than they were uh, before. Talk about that divide. Uh, how how different is it? You know, I would say a uh, big factor is technology. Mm -hmm. You know, it's completely different because <laughs> we have a whole different world of how individuals communicate. Yeah. So, you know, people are texting as opposed to calling on the phone. Right, right. I watched a video uh, a couple of weeks ago and they were comparing times before into now. And they say, you know, two friends go over one another's house the whole time they're texting they're on their phone, the computer, and then they might take a minute, like, look at this post, and they go back to it, right, you know? Right. You're on your own so, little world, right? And I think, you know, I appreciate technology, I appreciate the success you know, and the accomplishments we get from it, but there needs to be a healthy balance. Yeah. And I think a lot of uh, dependence on the net kind of interferes with our youth's social abilities, be able to socially communicate, you know, and that's why we're working with the young people saying, you know, this is how you have a healthy balance between technology as well as your interpersonal skills, you yeah. know, your life skills, soft skills in the professional setting to be able to have that balance to be able to understand you know you can have best of both worlds yeah. and you know talking about technology going right back to being a genius sure. we know what a cell phone is created to do <laughs> right we know its purpose and that how much greater are we to know our purpose and what we were created to right, do and fulfill. Right. Oh, that's a great parallel all right. Uh, congratulations on the program. Thank and, uh, you. Thanks very much for being here. I appreciate it. I Absolutely. appreciate you having me. Yep. All right. Finally, here's a quick look at what's coming up this week. The annual Angels Night campaign in the city of Detroit is going to be in effect from Saturday through Halloween night on Monday. Thousands of volunteers are going to patrol neighborhoods looking for suspicious activity and helping to prevent arson fires. Last year, Detroit had just 52 fires over the Halloween period. That is the lowest number recorded since Angels Night began 20 years ago.